explain what carbon nanotube is. I would say the carbon nanotube is a material made from carbon and their sizes in the nanoscale. They just look like a black material with a naked eye but when you look at the transmission electron microscopy you can find it in single or, or multiple and obviously because of the different types that the carbon nanotubes exist they have different properties. The two main properties of the carbon nanotubes are the ability of absorbing the near infrared light and generating heat, hence it can be used for thermal treatment of cancer and it can also uh, deliver a drug to the site of action. So if we coat the carbon nanotube with the correct antibody, we can send the drug with the carbon nanotube to the site of action and so the maximum therapeutic effect with the minimum side effect can take place. And that's the problem with the chemotherapeutic agents at the moment where it's got loads of side effects such as losing hair, getting tired and so on and so forth. Well, with carbon nanotube we can just load the drug to where the cancer cells are and the drug will get released and also we can zap it with the near infrared light to maximize the therapeutic effect of the carbon nanotube. PhD student and research fellow here in the Department of Nanotechnology. Um, I'm working on the development of a synthetic trachea um, so using the POSPC scaffold that we have developed in our lab here for POSPC. POSPC is non biodegradable, it's biocompatible and non toxic. Uh, it's been extensively tested um, in vivo. Uh, to prove that the uh, cells attached to it very nicely is cytocompatible. Um, I'm using it for development of synthetic trachea, so synthetic airway. So this is an example of post-PCU um, bifurcated synthetic airway that we've developed here. It connects the larynx to the lungs and is a conduit for, for air to travel into the lungs. Um, this has been implanted once before in the patient. Um, in Stockholm and today it's been very successful and the patient is doing very well. Here this is the, our centre currently. We work in our track here. Um, bypass graft, heart valve, nose, ear reconstruction. And we based in division surgery intervention science, which is at the, one of the UCL campus for more free. We make a, a nanoparticle for the stem cell tracking or looking at the cancer. So 
here, we develop a uh, bypass graft, and this is uh, composed of a nano composite polymer. And this is the machine uh, that enables us to produce um, one meter lengths of bypass graft for uh, evaluation. Okay, so this is the FTIR, um, ATR FTIR um, equipment. What this does is it maps the uh, chemical uh, composition and the chemistry of materials using a, a, a microscope system and what that gives us is information regarding the surface chemistry uh, related to the um, materials that we're looking at of interest uh, and we're very fortunate as this one um, works at high resolution. This is a vascular bypass graph uh, made out of nanocomposite polymer. Um, we are cut, this is uh, designed for the trying to design this for the coronary, coronary artery. Um, currently, we have implanted one of the versions in the lower limb in a patient. And um, if you can see, this is uh, mechanically very similar to almost exactly like a natural artery pulsing in the same way. Uh, we try to make the inner surface of the graphs uh, just similar to a natural artery by having different chemicals, nitric oxide and endothelial cells, um, etc. So uh, it will behave like a natural artery. nanomaterial for antibacterial effect and uh, and our most success been recently we made a lacrimal dog which is uh, is a, a, in the is part of the lacrimal dog is the is in the eye system and we make the nano composite material with silver and nanoparticle and nanomaterial and we plant it in, in Zurich with one of our uh, senior surgeon at the Zurich Hospital in Switzerland Carla Shaluka, she implanted about a year ago and the outcome has been very good. It showed that uh, the conduit has been inserted. And currently we're making a nose for the patient and he lost his nose from cancer and that is gone. It's going under his arm before to put in the uh, transplant along his nose actually. Speciality is in um, bioengineering cartilage using human stem cells. This is uh, one of the ear which has been made by a uh, synthetic nanocomposite pus PCU polymer. Uh, what we uh, usually do, we see the um, um, human stem cells on this ear, put it in a bioreactor for a while, and then the free tissue transfer into the defect uh, um, place of the patient. Hi, my name is uh, Dr. Bala Ramesh and I work in 
the department of nanotechnology and my main interest or area is quantum dots. Now quantum dots are semiconducting uh, nanocrystals which are used for imaging purposes and what we have done here is to synthesize quantum dots using various uh, recipes and we have used them for fluorescence and also for uh, MRI work and so far we have used them in diagnostic work and also in vivo work and shown that it's feasible to be used in future for clinical purposes. I'm one of the members of the research team in the Central Nanotechnology and Regenerative Medicine of the Institute. My area of interest is in, the, is in surface modification of synthetic vascular products with the aid of nanotechnology by using nanocomposite polymers and incorporating nitroperoxide releasing nanoparticles. I'm Dr. Research at Center of Nanotechnology and Regenerative Medicine at Royal Free Hospital campus. Uh, my research area of concern is in uh, neural tissue engineering, uh, which I'm going to specialize in development of nerve conduit using uh, biodegradable nanocomposite polymer and human adipose drive stem cells. I'm a research fellow at University College London and uh, I'm focusing on synthesizing quantum dots. Quantum dots are semiconductor uh, nanoparticles that can, uh, that can um, be used in um, um, so many applications such as drug delivery, um, imaging and uh, MRI. And uh, as you can see they have different colors and that the different colors due to having um, various sizes that are synthesized.